Hey, what is good guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a great day. Now, I'm sure most of you are hunting for those god roll items, and you're probably doing expeditions, you're grinding expeditions like crazy, you're doing loot farms like crazy, and you're just hoping to get those god roll items. But what I bet a decent amount of you aren't doing is you're actually not going to the vendors. There's seven vendors in the game, and they change their loot around every single hour. So every hour you can go back, and you can actually go to these vendors and see if they have any god roll pieces or potential god roll pieces for you. And it's actually a very good farm to add in with your expeditions and your loot farms that you're already doing. It takes about 5-10 minutes max to check them every single hour and you might actually be surprised at some of the gear you can get your hands on. So of course there's two vendors located in your camp all of the time. So no matter what camp you go to, Bailey and Tiago are both going to be there. Now if you've seen my resource video, you'll know all about them. But they're the first two vendors that you can get to any camp and they'll be there and you can see what they sell every single hour. Now the next two vendors are in Rift Town, the very starting town you go to. So in Rift Town, you've got Gregor and you've got Eva. Eva sells weapons and Gregor sells gear pieces. Now the great thing about both of these vendors is they actually sell greens and blue. So you would think that you want epic gear and then you want to, you know, min-max that. But the best way to actually do it is to find a green piece of armor that has all of the base stats that you need and then you can re-roll that higher using the rarity changer at the crafting vent to make that an absolute god roll piece. So if we go ahead and take a look at what Gregor is selling and we just take a look through, you notice that he has a bunch of greens and a couple of blues. And then we find this chest piece, for example, that has anomaly power, skills life leech, and cooldown reduction. Now, this is a very good armor piece if you're a pyromancer, for example, someone that uses a lot of skills all of the time. Cooldown reduction is quite rare to actually find an armor piece. So yes, this is a green armor piece, but you could actually make this into a very nice armor piece for your build. And all you would have to do is increase the rarity of it and add a couple of mods. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this, and then we're going to run to the crafting bench, and I'll show you what I mean. So we put it in a crafting bench and straight away you'll notice that it's already level 50. So we don't actually have to spend any resources on leveling this piece up. And then because it's green, to get it to the blue rarity, you're only going to have to spend leather to upgrade it. Which of course is very plentiful and very cheap. So once you upgrade it to blue or to rare rarity, you're going to be able to pick from one class specific mod. And then you can go ahead and upgrade it again to purple rarity or to epic rarity using titanium. And you'll see that it gives us a choice of one generic mod out of three. I would say the best one out of these three is damage absorber. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. Now once it's max level and you have the mods that you want on it, you can go ahead and raise the attributes of it. That of course uses shards, but we can go ahead and max those out. Now if you're looking for an easy way to get shards guys, you can actually go to the vendors like I showed you before. And set, let's just say you're looking for cooldown reduction, and you need cooldown reduction shards to upgrade your gear. What you can do is if a piece has cooldown reduction on it already, but the rest of the stats are useless, you can actually buy that item and then break it down and you'll get the cooldown reduction shards once you break down that piece. As long as it has this little shard symbol next to that stat, that's the shard you're going to get for breaking it down. Now you'll notice on this gear piece that we just upgraded, we have the first mod Mr. Fix It, but you could go ahead and change that for any other mod you need. For example, if I was going to use this on a Techno Marcher, I would probably go Scrapnel and change out for Scrapnel so we get more damage, but you'll notice it's very cheap to do so. It only costs leather to change the mod out. So that's the two vendors at the camp and the two vendors in Rift Town, but there's also two extra vendors in Trench Town. As soon as you spawn in at Trench Town, you can just turn straight around and there is a vendor right behind you sat at the tent. He's also going to sell items to you. Now he has the elite offer, which is obviously purple items, and then he has the regular offer, which is normally blues and green. This is just another place that you can take a look at every single hour and possibly find a god roll piece. You'll see here that in his elite offer, he actually has a level 50 purple with bonus firepower, close range damage, and long range damage. This is of course very good for a firepower Technomancer build. Now granted 300,000 scrap does seem like a lot, but remember you can actually sell your drop pod resources to Tiago and he will give you scrap in return. It's only 12,800 drop pod resources for a million scrap. So what you could do if you wanted to get this and it was an upgrade for you, you could purchase this from him and then you could go to the crafting bench and actually swap out Reign of Pain for a different mod entirely. Now it wouldn't be min-maxed because the other mod is kind of trash, but it would be a definite upgrade for you. You might go three or four expeditions and not get a single pair of boots that are good for you, but you could have just come to the vendor and picked up a very nice pair of boots just like that. So that's the gear vendor in Trenchtown. 
and there's also an arms vendor in Trenchtown. Take a run following the same direction you would take toward going towards the pub. And just before you cross the bridge towards the pub, on your right hand side is going to be the arms vendor. Now once again, he sells a variety of weapons. He has an elite offer which is obviously purple gun. He has the on sale offer, and then he has your regular offer. Now I'm gonna be completely honest, most of the weapon vendors probably won't have a good weapon for you, but the gear vendors, nine times out of 10, they do have some very nice pieces that you wouldn't expect, which you could potentially upgrade to be a god roll for whatever you need. I say that because most likely you're gonna get weapons from expeditions and they're gonna be upgrades most of the time. Very rarely do I go into the weapons vendors and actually find an upgrade or something that I need. And if you find something and you're not level 50 yet, you can just keep it with you and just keep upgrading it bit by bit as you go it's super easy to get titanium you can do loot farms you can change your res the drop pod resources in it doesn't take that long at all to farm titanium now the seventh vendor is a bit of a weird one because some people say you have to do the legacy of the outriders side quest i'm sure most of you know what that is it's of course the one that was bugged before and it used to give you 11 legendaries instead of just one legendary and tons of people made videos about it and other people say you can just talk to him and he'll just sell you goods anyway. So I'm not actually sure what one it is. For me personally though, I've already done all of the side quests on this character. And Legacy of the Outriders has been completed. So it is very possible that you do have to complete the Legacy of the Outriders side quest before he will actually sell you anything. If you have done that quest, what you're going to do is you're going to travel to the forest enclave. So you'll notice that he actually sells you a different variety of goods. He sells you greens, blues and purple. I believe his inventory and his item stock actually changes every hour the same as all the other vendors in the game so every hour you could just take time out from doing expeditions for five minutes travel around all of these vendors and just see if there is anything that could actually benefit you i see a lot of people in the comments section saying they struggle to get certain gear they struggle to get certain stats or they can't really figure out a way to upgrade their build quickly they feel like they've kind of hit a wall now i'm not saying this is absolutely game changing because of course it's not but it could just be the key to helping you find some god roll pieces of gear that will really benefit you in the long run so i really hope this video helped some of you out if it did please be sure to leave a like and while you're there hit that sub button for me it helps us grow helps us get out there to other people and i appreciate it so so much we're closing in on 3300 subs which is absolutely insane because yesterday i was asking you for a couple subs so we could hit 3000 so the fact that we've gained so many in one night is just absolutely mind-blowing and i appreciate you guys so so much for the love and support you've been showing me it's absolutely crazy but other than that guys i'll see you in the next video peace